like you said. And they're on the way. Yeah, and, uh, and the worst part of it is, is that uh, this is the real truth behind it, is that once this uh, republic is completely gone, it will, uh, there's no doubt in my mind, it will never, ever come back in any, in any way, shape, or form. There won't be any more rise of the individual freedom, liberty, and justice for all kind of thinking. It's going to be lost forever. And your great grandchildren, your grandchildren, uh, will have lost the, the, the vision. There will be no more vision of freedom, liberty, uh, decency, honor, it will be gone from the human family forever. And 500 years from today, nobody will ever even uh, consider such a thing as human freedom. Uh, you know, if there's even humans on the earth. And so right, right. I just know that we're, whatever it is we're losing, we're losing it for good. It will never come back. So, no, 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 it won't. Uh I'm wondering, I mean, we've all, how many times have we heard these people come forward saying, yes, I'm an abductee, I'm a contactee, and I'm, I've been told I'm to be an ambassador. I'm supposed to tell everyone that the planet is in trouble and let them know that it can be saved. And, and uh, uh, it, These people, there's so much, and then, and that was even before the Internet, and now... What do people who want to try to find out generally what's really going on do, Jordan? When they go into the Internet, it's like walking across a busy boulevard with your eyes closed. You don't know what the hell's going on. And everybody says they've got the truth. It's like a supplement. You've got to have this supplement or you will not survive. You've got to watch this website or you will not survive. We have the truth. Uh, and, but it's crap. It's all CIA. It's all government. They have uh, inculcated, uh, penetrated the alternative news media so much that some of the biggest names in alternative news are absolutely government assets. And you'll never know it. You'll never know. You'll never know. Well, it makes sense. Uh, like, uh, like the movie Godfather, you know. Godfather goes out and makes uh, people a deal they can't refuse. You either work with us or you don't work at all. And so that's exactly what's happening. Little by little, like you said, uh, the people are being taken in, usurped, bought out, frightened, or murdered, whatever. Uh, so that little by little, the opposition is being eaten away. And uh, again, uh, you go back to Hollywood and watch the movies like Time Machine. <clears throat> yeah, the original yeah. one with, with yeah. Robert Taylor. The original yes, one was yes. really scary. Yeah. Yeah. Really scary because it's really true. Yeah. Uh, no doubt about it. And, uh, and because, uh, and the movie Time Machine made back in the 50s, so well done with, uh, but, uh, but it showed how the people, uh, were very docile. They had no will of their own. No will to live. No will None. to fight. No will they to push no back. They had no will to do anything. Not nothing. to question anything. Nothing. Totally they, submissive. They, Total. They just sat there all day long. They just sat there by the stream, by the river, and uh, talked with each other. And and, uh, and 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 then when the girl, if you remember in the movie, the girl, one of the girls, fell in the uh, in the river, and she was being swept away, and she's. You know, she's yelling for help, and she's yeah. up away. And everybody just sitting there, uh, just look, picking they their just nails, at her. talking to each other. And she yeah. just, and she goes, uh, you know, floating by, screaming. Nobody Ignored. even looks up. Nope. Nobody even cares. Nope. I don't want to get involved. Nope. Not my nope. problem. Nothing, nothing to do with me. Nothing here. So, and I see that today. Uh, I'm just amazed. I don't know what what can be done because the bottom line on all of this. Is education, and the people are not educated. The people of this country and of North America, and the people generally of the world, but especially North America, are totally uneducated. They really are. If you watch these television shows, they, they, they're really they're chronically funny but crazy. To watch these shows about, you know, go on the web to YouTube and just type in Americans are stupid. And watch all of these different 20 minute, half hour, 
uh, shows where people come here from, from Canada and from around the world and interview Americans right. and watch the stupidity of the Americans. It is incredible. Uh, and, and even talking to politicians, uh, it's, it's astounding. Just go on the web and watch it. Watch the American people making a fool out of themselves because generally speaking, America is ignorant, ill-informed, ignorant, and it's frightening because I know what's coming with a nation that has no knowledge of its past, where it is now, or what, where it's headed, uh, and the, and the young people, they, they don't have a, uh, they don't have a chance in hell because they have no idea of what, what, what it was before. You know, they have young people today in college and high schools, they know something's wrong. Uh, and but the, what they don't know is no, it's going to get a lot worse. Uh, there's a destruction of a civilization on the earth, and it's a well organized, mm-hmm. highly financed, oh. well organized destruction. I got some uh, material today from uh, a friend, and it goes back to twenty years, and it it involved the cult, the satanic. Luciferian, child abuse, child sex, pedophile cult that is firmly embedded at the highest levels of international government. Yep. All right. And this is going back 20 years. This is an investigation by the FBI and other government agencies. And they, they were rather stunned at how deep this went that this is 20 years ago. It goes way back before that. This goes back hundreds of years. Of course it does. And uh, it, it's, it's, you know, Hollywood made movies uh, about these concepts and ideas that we're talking about. Like, uh, <clears throat> if you remember the uh, the Body Snatchers. Sure. Original Kevin one. McCarthy, 1956. Yeah. Yep. I met Kevin McCarthy in uh, Studio City in, oh, a, nice. in, a, in a supermarket. We chit-chatted a little bit. Nice. About uh, about that movie and yeah, it, it, but you have to go to sleep. Remember, you have to go to sleep that's before right. they can take you over. Yep. Stay and awake. What is that telling stay you? Awake. As, long as, you, as long as you stay awake, it's one thing. But if you go to sleep and go watching a basketball game and drink your beer and go to sleep, yeah, slowly but surely they will take you over. Oh, it's incredible. I've been watching it for a long time. When you go I don't out, know what to say about it. When you go out in public, uh, Jordan, and I would suggest this to, to everyone who's interested in really keeping track of what's happening, taking the pulse, if you will, uh, go out and look at people's faces. Yeah. Just look in their eyes, and you'll see a lot. <laughs> and there's really not much to see, but you'll see a lot of the same thing. Weariness, tiredness. You won't see honest smiles very often. The only people smiling are people being paid to smile, working in service businesses. Happy, have a nice day, have a nice day. And people say that to me, I often will say, well, thank you, but I've got other plans. (laughs) Uh, I mean, it's just, it's it's so nauseating. Have a nice day. Anyway. And uh, and then you watch That's happiness, Jordan, happiness. Well, what was that song? Remember the song, Be Happy, Don't Worry, Be Happy? Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah don't worry, just be happy. And <laughs> brainless, useless, uneducated, have no idea in the world how, what to do, what, where you are, where you're going, what you can do about it. But just be happy. Uh, I, I see the masses of people being manipulated and driven like, you know. You know what? It, it, it occurred to me, <laughs> Jeff. Remember the old cowboy movies years ago when when the when the cattle rustlers and the and the uh, cattle ranchers and they wanted to stampede the herd or they wanted to direct the herd uh, back into the uh, uh, in, back into the yard. The 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 cowboys would run around and shooting guns and rant and raving and yelling and yelling and it would scare the whole herd of cows and before you know it they're all running. Uh, they're sure. stampeding. Yeah. Well, that's what's happening today. All it's oh, a, yeah, it's a well organized, yeah. well organized. You got uh, you know like cowboys with the guns, 
But you got these politicians with guns, and they're ranting and raving about what they're going to do, and they're firing guns here and setting off missiles there and firing this bomb here and blowing up that building. They're trying to to scare the cattle, the millions mm-hmm. and millions of people. Mm-hmm. Collectively, they they are frightening the people into their uh, their operation, into their uh, their prisons. And so uh, that's what's happening. They're frightening the people, and the people are scared, so they go wherever they've been directed to go. There doesn't seem to be any ability to think on their own ever again. Nobody seems to be able to think for themselves. No, uh, thinking requires uh, questioning. Uh, That puts people at uh, a stressful disadvantage that things aren't controllable. They have to ask questions. It's not good for people to do that anymore. They don't no. like it. It's no. You're not supposed to ask questions. You're supposed to just just be happy. Just remember, everything is under control. We've got it. Just put Hillary in the White House and everything will be just fine. Yep. Never, never mind. Your neighbors will soon come straight from Somalia. Uh, <laughs> you'll be uh, down on your knees praying five times to Mecca or you'll be dead. Uh, yep, and uh, and... You know, I I don't know what to say about it because I came across something where I wish I had it in front of me because I'd love to quote that. I think I'll find it maybe in a minute, but it just talked about all the places in the world that Muslims are unhappy. You know, they're unhappy in their land. They're unhappy. Seems they're unhappy in, in everywhere. Place. They're unhappy uh-huh. everywhere. Yeah. And and what little bit of happiness that Muslims have is in. Uh, as in the foreign countries like America and Canada and New Zealand, uh, and the Western countries, they are, they at least are happy to be there. So they're not back in their, uh, in, in their own countries. But the problem is then they, where they are happy, they want to change those places that they're happy in, uh, to be more like the country they've come from where they right. were unhappy. So it's just lunacy. It's but then again, when you begin to do uh, the you know the kind of thing I, I've been doing all my life is looking at the religions of the people and where the religions have come from and what they're actually made up of. And when you see that Islam is same thing, same identical religion as Judaism, Judaism, Islam, the same thing as uh, Hinduism. It all goes back to the worship of the moon, moon gods. Yahweh, the Jehovah, is a moon god. Uh, you know, Moses was the leader of a lunar moon cult. Uh, the Jews uh, uh, count their days from sundown to sundown, not from not from when the sun comes up. No, from the sun going down to the sun down the next day exactly. is the Jewish day. Why? Because that's when the moon comes out. There you go. Yeah. And so once you understand it, do some reading into comparative religions and do it for about 40 years. It'll dawn on you what's going on, that all these ancient religions are all based on sex, drugs, stupidity, moon worship, blood sacrifices, pornography. It's all an extraordinary betrayal of the human mind for what's been going on for tens of thousands of years of religion. So that's why it doesn't surprise me where we, the human race, finds itself today. We are in serious trouble, and we have no idea how we got here or what we're going to do about it. And then the problem is, well, I don't think we're going to do anything about it because, as I've said before, no, yeah. the people have no power because knowledge is power. And again, people in the Western world are so incredibly ignorant, they have no idea what their enemy is doing. They have no idea in the world. When you look at the communist world movement that is now ruling America, I'm not impressed with the Soviet communist system. I mean, it fell because it wasn't wasn't worth a damn. Most people do not realize that the Soviet communist system uh, was, first of all, broke and was going under, Mm -hmm. and America had to finance it. The Federal Reserve, and listen to this, the Federal Reserve sent the plates to America's, to, to the Federal Reserve notes, sent the plates for hundreds and fifties and twenties. They sent the plates over to the Soviet Union for the communists to print their own money. The Federal Reserve, 
sent wow. plates to wow. Russia wow. so the Russians could, could, could print the money because it was very difficult, if not impossible, for the Federal Reserve to, uh, to send hundreds of millions of dollars back in 1940s and 50s to the Soviet Union. It would have been, it would have caused a lot of, of questions. Where, why is this, why is the Federal Reserve sending hundreds of millions of dollars to the, to the Communist Party when they're starving and feeding them and giving them money? So therefore, to make sure that doesn't happen, the Federal Reserve sent the plates over uh-huh. to Lenin and Trotsky wow. so that they could wow. print their own money. Uh, wow. I'm just amazed. And people yeah. don't know that world communism, all this bullshit today with Marxist communism and everybody yeah, prancing yeah, around, yeah. they have no idea in the world. America came up with this idea. We financed it. Yeah. It's <laughs> a trick. <laughs> it's all trickery. And, and it's all trickery, and it worked beautiful. It's worked fine because nobody seems to have the IQ to look into the history of where all of this machinations, secret societies, secret groups, fraternal orders operating, they call them, today we call it organized crime. Shit, you want to talk about organized crime, go back to the 1880s, 1870s, and look at the founding of, of the of, of the corporation called United States Corporation. That's right. You know, it's, it's an amazing amount of knowledge that people have just been completely past them. They have no idea in the world any of this even existed. When I talk to people about the the, uh, the United States Corporation as opposed to the United States of America, the Republic, they have no idea in the world what I'm talking about. I can see it. They're glassy eyes. They just glass over, and they have no comprehension in their mind of what I'm talking about. So, I don't, you know, how are you going to save a nation? Who was it uh, that said that made the statement that if you expect to be free and stupid, you're expecting something that's never been and never will be. If you think you're going to be free and stupid, you've got another thing coming. Stupid people get ripped all the time. And so, uh, you know, it, it, that's why the, the, the system does not want people educated because if you get educated people, they start thinking. And all of a sudden, they start putting the, the <laughs> putting all this stuff together and figuring out we've been had. Mm-hmm. And then there's going to be some serious trouble. I mean, you get Americans riled up once they find out what's really going on. They're well, going to be see, real that, and now, this is uh, this is the great American redneck that may come to our 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 aid and may save us. <laughs> hey, people mock right. the rednecks. Uh, redneck Americans. They're maybe in some ways the last of the Americans. I think that's exactly right. I'm tending to feel that, you know, that, that whatever their faults are, they may be the only last ones who at least understand human integrity and freedom. Yeah. They don't want people coming yeah. into their home, busting into their homes and taking something that they have. So at least they, they understand the concept. That's of true. It's true. You think about it. They've been the, the butt of so many jokes, but when push comes to shove, they're going to stand up. Yeah, they'd be the only ones who will. So I just watch this uh, monstrosity un- unveiling itself in front of us. You know, and it, it's, yeah. it's, 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 I don't know what to say about it. I don't know. Hold on a minute, Jordan. We have to pause. We'll come right back. Oh, and by the way, Jordan, I, with no fanfare, and I think it's called City Hall Park in New York. They went ahead and erected that two-thirds the size replica of the Temple Arch of Baal yeah. in New York. That's up now. So is the one in Trafalgar Square. And there's supposedly a thousand of them that have been earmarked to be produced and put all over the world, de facto announcing that the planet, the planet is now satanic. So hold on a minute. We'll be right back. Back with Jordan and all of yes. you folks. Yep. And, uh, okay, what was, I said something right before the break. I can't remember what it was. Anyway. Well, I will ahead. say this, that I have a video that I've been working on for quite a few years, and I finally years. got it finished. Oh. <clears throat> it's, it's been many years. Uh, 
wanting to be produced, and I finally, you know, got it done little by little over the period of quite a few years. And I finally got it done, <clears throat> and I'm going to make it available uh, probably within a week on my website, jordanmaxwellshow.com. There will be a new banner uh, advertising a video. It's about an hour and 15, hour and 20 minutes, something like that, on this subject of the secret societies and how it has been put together in America with the symbols, the words, the pictures, all of this uh, whole monstrosity, the way it's been put together to uh, to rape uh, North America uh-huh. and Canada. And uh, so, uh, but it, 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 you know, it's very difficult to tell people this. You need to see it. Right. So that's what right. that's ninety five percent of what I do is you have to see the thing yourself and see the pictures, the documents, and how it all came together and who's who's financing it, where it's all come from. So I'll make that available probably within a week on my website. My website is Jordan Maxwell Show. Anything else out there with Jordan Maxwell on is not me. It's Jordan Maxwell Show. And on the Jordan Maxwell Show, I have a second website, which is mine, and it's called the Research Society. And that's a research website, but I own both. They're both mine. So, But there are others out there with my name on it that are not mine. And so uh, I, I just want people to know that I have a, a real incredible uh, video that I've been working on for many years. Finally, got it put together, and wow. I'll be making it available. And it's a it's a real doozy. Well, send me oh, the uh, send me the cover art and a description of it, and I'll link to it. This oh, is good. I, I, I would appreciate it then, sure. because it's something I think people need to see before the election. It's something you really need to see about American politics and what's going on behind the scenes you didn't know. So I really think that this would make an incredible difference in the uh, in the uh, whole apparatus uh, of America if people saw this video. Because, like I said, I got started on it back in 1967. Now, that's a long time ago, and I've been putting it together piece by piece until finally, uh, against all odds, I finally got it put together. And uh, so I'll be making that available on my website probably within a week. Just want everyone to know. What's about it going to be called, Jordan? Uh, it's going to be called Cosmocraterus. It's uh-huh. a Greek word, Cosmocraterus, uh-huh. and it simply means God, the word Cosmos means the world, and Craterus means a ruler, like Democrat and plutocrat. So Craterus means a, a ruler, and Cosmos means the world. And so what I'm talking about is the hidden world rulers. What the, what the symbols mean, right. what the, what the terms mean, how they set up governments and mm-hmm. insurance companies and, and, uh, and the uh, courts, the whole entire apparatus wow. over the human race and how, it, how it was put together, yeah. what the words mean. So it's an, it's a hell of a, uh, of a project that I've been working on, you know, for many years. I uh-huh. finally got it uh-huh. done. So. Well, congratulations on that. So there'll be more coming. Oh yeah, yeah. I got I got a lot more stuff before I leave this world. I have a yeah. lot of stuff I've been wanting to tell the people, and I'm finally, finally getting into a position where I can do it. So all right, well, let's uh, well, give, give me one example. What do you want to tell? Do you want to tell people anything tonight? You haven't been able to tell them before. I don't want to push you, but that would be fun or something well, that we haven't talked about that. That's really important. I mean, uh, this, the, the idea that the world is run by a satanic sex pedophile death Murderous. cult is, yeah. is something that most people, most people could never accept, let alone even confront intellectually. But it's true. Oh, of course it's true. And, uh, <clears throat> the whole, I, something that is very important that, uh, and I think even more so right now at this very moment. That, uh, that the world of mankind is totally unaware of, and that is the words. What do the words mean? That we, we use words continually, never realizing the actual and point of fact meaning of the word. And then classic example, uh, which I am working on, which I put into this new video, is the word democratic, democratic or democracy. What does that actually mean? And so when you find out 
where that word actually came from uh-huh. because it has nothing to do with the old ancient uh, Greeks and the de- so-called democratic regimes of ancient of uh, ancient Greece. No, the the uh, the chief librarian of the Library of Congress was a man named, uh, and he's still there today, is uh, James Billington. You don't get any more uh, mainstream and and important Uh in academia than being the chief librarian for the Library of Congress. And he wrote a book called uh, Fire and the Minds of Men, where he outlined exactly what's going on today. When you use the word democratic party, democratic, uh, the word democracy or democratic party, here's what it actually in fact means. It doesn't mean what you think it does. It hasn't got a damn thing to do with, with, uh, <laughs> with what the whole people want, you know, mm-hmm. what the people mm-hmm. in the street want. No, right. no, no. We ain't never cared what the people in the street want. Like, like, uh, George Carlin said, it's a big club and you ain't in it. So, oh, I got, what, you want to hear some good news? Hold, hold your thought. George Carlin recorded a well over one hour routine, all new material. And it happened, he recorded it right before 9-11. Some of it was, he thought, in poor taste considering what had just happened. It has never been heard, and it is going to be released very soon now. I'll bet it's a hot one, boy. Yep, yep. Yeah, so I'm just saying that uh, there's some yeah. really important information that has been kept from the people of my country and, uh, and of this country. And the whole idea is to divide and conquer. And uh, so that's what's happened. We've oh, been, that's all they do, slice and dice, absolutely. That's it. Yeah. They slice and dice, divide and conquer, dividing everybody yeah. against each other so that, you know, collectively as Americans, we cannot stand for anything. So if you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything. And so that's what's happened. <laughs> Another great Maxwell line. <laughs> yeah, but it's true. I that's mean, wonderful. If you don't stand yeah. together, if, you, yep. if your family, if your family and your family does not stand together, the mother, the father, and the children, and the grandchildren, et cetera, and the grandparents, if your family doesn't stay together and stand together, then uh, what have you got? you got nothing. you got chaos. And well, so that's, that's what it, chaos is. Oh, country, uh, that's the real. See, chaos is the real currency of that's subjugation. The, that's how right. they. That's how they purchase all their control. But the that's currency of chaos. I love it. Got that right. Order out chaos. Order out yeah, of the yeah. chaos. Yeah. And, uh, God knows. So anyway, uh, I've just been doing the best I can for many years. But uh, I've well, always been your you know, best, Jordan. Is far beyond the ability of most people, period. Jordan Maxwell is literally carrying and has spawned the careers of dozens of Internet figures, all right? Just think about that. Well, they, not one of them has thanked him. Uh, I, held, I, only had, I only had one that <laughs> did thank me. And it's true. I mean, yeah. I've been, uh, I, I have contributed to uh, financially and every other one. Oh, way. yeah, yeah. I, you know, our, my uh, website is, uh, I put a little note up there, it's the most plagiarized site on the Internet, and it is. Mm-hmm. I get stories sent to me that I have written the titles for or made changes in the text from, web, from sites all over the world. <laughs> And it's funny yeah. when I get my own stuff. Hey, Jeff, look at this. And it's, I ran it three days ago. But whatever. Uh, okay, just so the stuff gets out there. That's what counts. But well, there's, exactly no, there's no honor among thieves. And there's so many thieves on both sides of the fence. The mainstream media and the alternative media. It doesn't matter. People are people. They're, they're thieves. They tend to be more, I think, uh, more dishonorable on our side of the fence because they're not working for big corporations. Yep. They'll do what they're told. On this side, they can kind of do what they want. And that opens the door to all kinds of larceny and chicanery and you name it, and it goes on. Yep. Whatever. Pretty soon, every other person is going to have his or her own talk show on the net. Watch. There's so many now, I can't believe it. Yep. Everybody's yep. everybody's a talk show host. Yep, you got it. With at least five people listening. 
Well, and, and you know, I remember many, many years ago, a teacher um, made the point, and I think it's still important today. Uh, if you lie and you tell a lie, uh, that does not make you a liar. Because you lie to someone or, or, or always lying to people, always lying to people does not make you a liar. You are a liar to start with. So oh, that's oh, why that, you that's lie. Really interesting. You lie because that's who you are to begin with as a liar. Another Maxwellism. Good. <clears throat> Very good. Yeah, so, there's so much truth. The way you phrase things and often present them, they just they're perfect. That's yeah, another great example of it. Perfect. All right, now uh, the new video is coming out. Uh, how are you do- without getting into specifics? How are you doing with this this this? horrible court thing that we talked about briefly last time is it moving toward now it's under the it's in excuse me it's in the hands almost sneezed it's in the hands of the feds so it's out of your hands the federal government is prosecuting this outrageous horror that's been forced on you that yep. happened to you. So where is that? When is that supposed to go to, to trial? All right, well, look at There were two separate uh, cases here, actually three separate uh, lawsuits uh, I'm involved in because of these people who have done this to me. Three totally different separate cases. Uh, and so each one's waiting on the other one to see what's going to happen before uh-huh. they do anything. Uh-huh. Well, uh I, I, we won the, uh, we won the state case. That's over. So I won that one. Uh huh. But now the only thing we're waiting on is the federal case now. And the federal, in point of fact, does not really Im- involve me. Uh, it involves, uh, a radio station and, and the uh, producers of a radio program. Uh, but I'm involved in it. So therefore I'm waiting too to see what's going to happen. But, but uh, at this point, uh, I won the uh, the state case. That's mm-hmm. over. Mm-hmm. So Good. now we're All waiting right. to see what the federal government's going to do about this federal case. Because I mean, it is serious. I mean, we've got we've got you know these people have have filed uh, affidavits with the federal government with the uh, Department of uh, of, uh, of uh, Copyright. Uh, and trademark department with the California uh, state courts and on all of their affidavits they're saying something different on every one and so that's serious when you're filing uh, affidavits you know with one with one agency of the federal government then filing another one a few months later saying something totally different than filing another one uh, on the state level uh, saying something totally different one day all of that stuff's going to catch up to you and bite you in the ass it's going to be bad yeah. when this, yeah. when this thing comes down there's a lot of felonies involved in this stuff so we're just waiting to see where the federal government's going to go with this big case. And I'm just sitting here waiting. Oh, well, this will be interesting. I'm glad yeah. and very thankful to hear that you are in a position now to be able to sit back and watch. <laughs> yep. You yep. have been, been through they, hell. Yeah. These people have been, for, for six years, these people have been sending out cease and desist letters yeah, I know. to anybody who would have me on radio or television or speak at any event. They would send out cease and desist. Well, now we actually have a California uh, 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 judge rendering the opinion that they had no right to do that to me from day one. Every single thing they have done, the California state court said, was totally illegal, unlawful, and had no basis for them to do that to me, to keep keep me off the air and keep me from doing radio. But now we, of course, know why they wanted to do that. They don't want me talking about what they're doing because it's bad for business. When I tell people that my, you know, my website, you're sending money and buying products from my website, it's not my website. It was taken from me. Somebody else is making the money. So if you're getting, you know, emails asking for contributions and donations, don't do it. That's not me. This is Jordan right now. And this is, you don't go to jordanmaxwell.com. That's right. It does not belong not to now. me. Not now. Maybe at some it, point in the future, we will tell you. And if right. you have gone there and bought something, uh, enjoy it, use it. Jordan would like that, but he didn't get a damn penny for it. So Nothing. Zero. Right. 
And most important, I want people to know, is that with all the other, with everything that was taken from me, even more important was my email list of 27,000 people. Therefore, for the past six years, these people who took this from me uh, have been answering my personal emails and, 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 and emailing my personal friends around the world asking for donations and signing my name to it. Hi, this is Jordan Maxwell, and I, I'm asking you, could you help me by sending me some money, a donation of this and that, or buy these products? And people think, well, that's Jordan write me. No, for six years, they have been writing my personal email people, and any time I get personal email, on the old website, they answer with my name. They sign my name to it, making the world think that it's me answering. So I need people uh-huh. to understand. Six yeah, years, yeah, yeah, I yeah. have never <laughs> answered or heard anything from my website. Nothing. Zero. No money, no communication, nothing. They've okay, taken that's, it from me. Please go to Jordan's real site now and understand that for $30, you can join for life, uh, the most astonishing archive of material that has ever been brought to bear on all of us on the Internet. Uh, give them the site again so they know which one to go to. Yes, Jordan Maxwell Show. Very simple. S-H-O-W. Go okay. to Jordan Maxwell Show, and on there you will see a button. It's advertised pretty heavy. It's, it's a button that says Research Society. Click on that. And all it is is a new uh, uh, website in which I'm uploading all of my research over the years. I've been saving it all, pictures, documents, audio, video, documents, all kinds of research material that you, you're not going to see anywhere. Nobody's going to know anything about this. But I've been collecting it for years, and it's called uh, the Jordan Maxwell Show but it's also called the Research Society. So click on that and join. And every day we're putting on new stuff, every day. It's a massive, but it, we got massive well, more Well, I'm so happy you found someone to work with you who can back all this up, protect it, and make sure that it gets loaded properly. It sounds like some, the guy really cares. No, no, this wonderful, wonderful friend who's been there for me and doesn't ask for anything, and he's been doing it for years. Wow! And he's a and that's he's a real a friend, top of the line, yeah. top of the line computer guy. And I, I thank God that I have dear friends like that. And I and and of course yeah. the man that helped me with my radio show. Uh, I do have dear good friends who are helping me now. Yeah. Finally, yeah, yeah. So. yeah. Well, I, I I go back to way back when when you first started to spend time on this program and you've been through a hell of a lot my well, god and, and most people don't have any idea i i do i I've, I've talked most every place you've had to go live well in fact as you know i had a place up here for you okay. if if you wanted to come up this way so uh, i've been i've been watching it all of it yeah, I, I don't I don't have a home for you know, well, you, twenty six years ago. I just have to live in other people's homes. Yeah, where well, if you ever I'm, that I'm, one I'm, up I'm, here that we talked about is still here. So is it really? Oh yeah. Well, let's talk about that later because right. uh, because I might have to be moving again. And see, every so often I have to move when the people I'm living with uh, they need the room or they're selling the house or they got family coming, right. and I have to pack everything. Well, up we'll, let, we'll and talk. Call around yeah. and try and find somebody else I can stay with. We'll get you uh, situated up here if you need to. Oh, I would love that. Uh, yeah, uh-huh. you, you know, you would really love like it. it up here. It's really no, no nice. doubt about it. No doubt about yeah. it. So. Well, All right. Good. Well, I, anyway, I, I, you know, I appreciate being able to come on the show, and I'm going to plan some really, really uh, devastating stuff uh, uh, that we can do on the show very soon. And uh, okay. I've just been trying, trying to put together this video, and I've been busy with that and the, and the court thing and the trials and all that. But uh, now that I won that case, and, uh, and that that's great because that is, you know, that's out of my that's out of, off my plate now. Now I can get back to what I was doing f- before I was jumped on and, and sued. And uh, I'll let you know what's going to happen on that on that federal case. It's yeah, yeah. going to be oh, happening yeah. real soon. Yeah. All right. Well, this is this is good. And it's again 
so nice that you can sit back and not have to directly carry the emotional, intellectual burden of this. That the, the feds have it. They see this as a real problem. Oh, yeah. And they're oh, going yeah. after it. I wonder if these uh, these thieves might just leave the country. Well, I heard, I don't know for sure, but I heard that the federal government has pulled their ah, passport. Ah, very smart. Yep. <laughs> I didn't the, want to bring that up. The feds pulled that's their good. passport and said, no, thank you, son. You got some payback coming. And you ain't going nowhere. Ah, oh, Jordan, that's, that's okay, good. Okay, I love it. That's good. It sounds maybe like for once are much maligned and mocked and derided, and with good reason. Judicial system may work properly. Let's hope. I hope. Uh, I hope. It just, it's, it's, been, it's been too much. Now, are you, are you appearing down there in the L.A. area anywhere on a quasi-regular uh, no, basis or anything? actually, I, I have so many opportunities, inter- incidentally, to travel internationally from oh, yeah. all over the world. I have uh, uh, invitations to oh, go and nice. speak at conferences. Oh, well, what the hell? No, I don't. I don't go because, for many reasons, one, I'm too old and too tired and too sick to go anywhere, yeah. and second, I have been warned by some very important people in government have come to me in private and said, "Don't leave this country. You're being watched. You have enemies." And well, they, you know, that's that's. I think long ago we talked about that. That's why I don't. And uh, you have no security when you leave this country. That's right. And it's not that good here. But you leave this country and you go to Ecuador or whatever, and they've got death squads all over the place. No problem. Well, I told you what happened to me when I, I, I I had to move and I had no place to go and no money and no place to go, period. And so uh, I have a friend down in, uh, in Panama. Uh, Panama. Panama. I know. Panama. And he said, well, come down. I'll pay for everything. You come down and live with me. Well, thank God. Either that or live under a, a bridge. Yeah. So I, I packed up everything and went down to, to stay Well, with you him. used to call me from down there. We used to yeah, talk. Yeah, of course. And everything I, what little bit I had left that had been stolen, I shipped down there. And the day it was supposed to be delivered to me down there, I get a phone call saying that area uh, burned up. There was a bad fire, and all your stuff was burned to the ground. So I'm sorry, there's nothing left. It's oh, gone. God. Everything, all my work is gone. I remember. So I, remember. I know that when I'm being told, people are watching you, you yeah. better stay here. No, that's anywhere. words to the wise. All right. Uh well, you'll be so, here and wherever else you want to appear, so we'll have you on the radio. Oh, I do. And, uh, really thank you for that. Of, of uh, course. friendship. Okay. Okay. I guess we'll talk later then. Take care, Jordan. You right. too. Night. Bye-bye. Uh, one and only Jordan Maxwell, and uh, he's, he's a remarkable man. This has been a real ordeal for him. Okay. We will be back tomorrow night. Hope to have the pleasure of your company once again.